He is looking, as Woj says, like he might be a member of the Miami Heat. So, Stephen, what do you think that fit is with Miami, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo down there? I'm not moved. Really? I'm not moved. Hmm. I just have to be honest with you. Um, I'm a fan of Kyle Lowry. He's a champion. Average 17 points a game last year. Can shoot in the mid-30% from three-point range. He's definitely an upgrade, as far as I'm concerned, from a Goran Dragic, from uh, a Kendrick Nunn, who I think has got a lot of promise. I get all of that. Here's the problem. When we last saw you, what happened to you? You got swept. Who was that by? That was by the Milwaukee Bucks. That's not going to be the difference. And okay. that's where I'm coming from. When I think about Kyle Lowry, if he were with the Philadelphia 76ers, because you've got Embiid, if you were able to keep Ben Simmons while you still have him, the Bias Harris of the world, and stuff like that, and he was added, added to that mix. His experience, his poise, his defensive tenacity, his fervor, he's from that area. I covered them. I yeah. actually covered them when I was, I was right for the Philadelphia Inquirer. This dude is a special player, no, mis no mistake about it. But in Miami, as they're presently constructed, I don't see him making that big of a deal in terms of, you know, just basically changing the course of their future in that regard. I don't see it. I definitely think this is an upgrade, and I agree. I still think if they're going to be contenders, they're going to find a, another piece. And I also think after hearing Woj speak, they're going to have to throw some more people in that pot. I don't know if Goran Dragic and their rookie from last year is going to be enough to entice uh, Toronto. So they might have to throw one of their shooters in, which I'm sure they don't want to do. But I agree. Kyle Lowry, 35, still very solid, can still production, a great on-the-floor leader, in, in, you know, which they need sometimes outside of Jimmy Butler. It's a good fit, but I still feel, you know, the East is with our Brooklyn being strong, Milwaukee, the defending champs. Kyle Lowry is going to be one piece to another piece that they're going to need to really contend in the Eastern Conference. Now, Perk, I know you're always hot on those goons from Miami, as you like to call them. Do you agree with Stephen A that this isn't quite going to get it done, or do you think maybe this could make them make a stab in the East and be coming out of the East? Uh, I, I respectfully disagree with Stephen A, and I'm going to say this. Why? Because one of the most important positions in the NBA is the point guard position. And you're right. He's a huge upgrade from Kendrick Nunn and Goran Dragic. And look, Kyle Lowry is one of the best floor generals in the game today. You have guys like Ray John Rondo, Chris Paul, LeBron James, and Kyle Lowry falls right in that category. Kyle Lowry is going to take pressure away from Jimmy Butler. Now Jimmy Butler don't have to worry about getting others involved and facilitating. He takes that load off where Jimmy only have to worry about getting buckets. And Kyle Lowry has that type of tenacity and that type of spirit where it rubs off on everyone. We we saw at times throughout this postseason where Bam went missing, right? And there's only so much you could do as a coach with Eric Spolscher being mm -hmm. on the sideline for us, find up your guys to bring back that energy, that tenacity. Well, Kyle Lowry is that guy. When you step on the floor with him at any given time, mm -hmm. you feel like you have an opportunity mm -hmm. to win the game because he's one of the most ultimate competitors that we have in the game today. So I do feel like if Kyle Larry being added to the heat as of what they are mm -hmm. with Bam and Jimmy Butler, it makes them a top five team in the well, Eastern Conference, hands well, down. Well, let me tell you something. First of all, um, I want to tell you something, Rachel and Matt, that, you know, Kendrick Perkins has been doing a marvelous job all year covering the NBA. And what you have to understand about Kendrick Perkins is that he's gotten <laughs> slick. He's gotten very, very slick. Mm -hmm. He's learned to get very, very slick. Let me tell you why. I don't recall Matt Barnes saying it was a downgrade. I certainly yes. didn't say it was a downgrade. Matter of <laughs> fact, we all agree. It's an upgrade. What I said was is that that's not going to make the difference when you look at the Eastern Conference. In other words, instead of getting swept like they did, you might get you might lose in six. You might lose you in five or six. Them a round I, or two I, I don't know. No, I'm saying it against that level of competition. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, specifically against the competition. Okay. And then we took a take into account what Kyle Lowry did, they were in Toronto before Kawhi Leonard arrived, okay? Yeah. And they were winning 58, 59 games, and they were capturing the number one seed you and mean, stuff like that. Yeah. But you know something? DeMar DeRozan, who can ball, who is no yeah. scrub, he wasn't any Kawhi Leonard. And once Kawhi Leonard arrived, it's a difference. Why? Because you're 6'8", you're built like a chiseled brick house. <laughs> you can get to the hole. You got a perimeter shot. You can do a lot of things. And Kyle Lowry's poise, his veteran leadership, his perimeter shooting, his ability to draw offensive fouls became more pronounced because of who mm -hmm. you had with you. He ain't going to have that with him in Miami. That's the problem. Well, well, well go ahead, Perk. Oh, well, well, you see how... You see how Stephen A. Tim t telling the world that I tend to get slick 
he also do the same thing, and I catch him master, in ways right? as well, right? So think about this. You 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 want to know what happened to the Toronto Raptors when Kyle Lowry and DeRozan were winning those games and LeBron. having the best LeBron. record in the mm-hmm. Eastern Conference? LeBron. They ran into LeBron James. LeBron. They ran into LeBron James, and they ran into a hungry LeBron mm-hmm. James mm-hmm. that wasn't going to be denied because he wanted to deliver a championship to mm-hmm. Cleveland. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is, is that I'm not picking the Heat to come out of the Eastern right. Conference. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that they are a threat. Right. when you add Kyle Lowry. And I also think that Jimmy Butler and Bam last year, they just looked tired and defeated from the long playoff run that they had the year before going to the finals and then coming hey, back man. and having the season that they had. And, I'm, and I'm saying now they What's run wrong? into now they run into a person that I watched you this morning remind the world is now the face of the NBA. Are we talking to saying. be honest? Yes. <laughs> well, that was what, Kendrick Perkins' that, words, well, that was, not mine, because I don't agree with that. That's where I was okay. going to go next. And by the way, we'll talk later in the show that's because fine. Giannis <laughs> chimed in on whether he's the face of the NBA or not, so we'll get to that. But it is interesting in the East. You've got, of course, the defending champions. Respect to them, and certainly Giannis wants more than one. He's already talked about that. You've got Philadelphia, which is going to make a serious effort to retool. We know that they're shopping Ben Simmons. We don't know who they're going to come back with. You've got the Brooklyn Nets. I almost said New Jersey, Stephen. I had to catch myself but we spent so much time in that northeast corridor the brooklyn nets who of course are returning their big three and feel that they are contenders for the title miami trying to nose its way in there so much though in this free agency period can depend on kyle lowry even if as you say the balance of power isn't shifting as much bobby marks made this chart which was amazing this was in a conference room in bristol that he made for himself and he was just like from kyle lowry all of these things flow Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.